Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I am Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about opening your chakras. So the the simplest way to say this is that chakras, which sound very exotic and sort of fancy, they're energy vortexes or portals in the body. And energy vortex might be the word that's mostly used and the way I understand it is more as portal a little bit different kind of the same but and so uh, chakras you know we talk about um, I like to see them as vibration of color so we have the root red uh, next chakra orange solar plexus yellow power power chakra the heart is green, the throat is blue, the third eye, uh, either a purple or a different, brighter, darker blue, and uh, crown, white. And some of these, some of you are like, well, the crown is purple. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm saying it how I see it and how I experience when I do uh, energy work or meditation. These are how the chakras show it for me, the crown is this blasting white. And then there's also uh, chakras, like little, little, every cell has a little chakra. Every, you know, your wrist has a chakra. There's just like swirling energy. And uh, most people can't see them, but some people can. But you can sense them. You can sense them. You can sense if they're open or closed And if you meditate on them, you can notice that they are swirling in one direction or they might be swirling in another direction or maybe they're completely stuck and like sort of clunking through like a big gear, cog in a wheel kind of gear thing. And in meditation, you will most likely be able to open or expand the swirl of your particular chakra. Um... And again, this is hard to talk about because there isn't really science for this. There's there's just the experience of a whole lot of people doing meditation work who understand that they can sense their chakras and that they can open their chakras and that they can get the energy swirling into this vortex or portal. Um, So you can... If you notice a chakra that is closed very tight or blocked or still, you can unlock it and allow it to swirl in a circle of energy and even to expand to a size that is as big or bigger than your body. So, for example, you might think of your heart chakra right now. It's green, luscious, bright, plant green, and You might just notice uh, how it's turning, how this giant chakra in your chest is turning. And for me, this particular chakra is one of the ones that's always pretty open for me. And it swirls, um, I guess it swirls left to right as, as I'm in my body, my left to my right, down to up, down to up. And the heart chakra can be expanded like outside of the chest. Just try that now. You can you can make it a little tiny. You can expand it like a great emerald vortex, emerald portal. And just try that now. And then as you have more time, try this with the other chakras, your third eye. Get that moving in bigger. And then look for the chakras that are that are smaller and tighter and that maybe need more opening. Energy healers, such as hands healers, Reiki people, other energy workers, also work in this way or 
with some similar ideas. They use the energy that comes from their hands or the way that they use their intention or how they work with the guides and angelic realm to do this work to unblock or open your chakras. In addition to chakras, you know, there's also these um, energetic um, lines and different traditions, uh, Chinese medicine and and other systems of meridians and, and acupuncture and that kind of thing. So lots of ways, but chakras, one, all relates. And again, you can use chakras, you can use grids, you can use... Um, meridians, whatever you're using is going to work. We don't have to have the same belief system, right? It all just works. So if you're feeling kind of yucky or subpar, it's a great idea to check your chakras and just go up from the first or root chakra to your second chakra in your reproductive and sexual system to your third chakra in your solar plexus to your fourth chakra which is your heart to your fifth chakra which is your throat your sixth which is your third eye and your seventh which is at the crown of your head and just notice what the energy feels like in each area if it's tight or small or locked Imagine or meditate on this chakra until you have the sense that it is swirled open. Now, it's one thing to listen and imagine it, and then it's another thing to take a moment and do it. And it's one thing to listen to someone guide you through it. And it's another thing that takes you further to guide yourself through. Try it now. You know what to do. Even if you don't, even if you don't think you know what to do, you do. Just close your eyes and breathe and concentrate on those chakras root to crown. Just checking in to see what's open, what's closed, which way it's swirling, how bright the color is, how the energy feels, and see if you can get everything expanded and swirling in full expansion as big as you can possibly make things right at this moment. And just give that a try now. You're going to feel better in about one minute. I'm Sarah Wiseman, and you're listening to Sarah Wiseman. You can find me at sarahwiseman.com.